Welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose. I hope you enjoyed the video which I'm about to play you. Now, Addictalash has been kind enough to do a giveaway. They gave away these beautiful magnetic lashes and I have a pair and they're absolutely wonderful. And here is the eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner that comes with them. Valued, this package is valued at $90. So Dictalash was kind enough to give away, as I said, uh, this lovely package valued at $90. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel as well as Instagram and my TikTok and you can be in the giveaway. And it's an international giveaway. I will be posting them to you and the winner will be picked at random. I have tried these magnetic lashes myself. If you watch my previous video, I have actually worn these magnetic lashes together with this eyeliner all you have to do is put a couple of coats of this eyeliner liquid eyeliner which is black and these eyelashes which are of absolute fantastic quality they just adhere to your eyelids just down here where you apply the eyeliner and the way you go they don't come off the quality is superb and you don't feel them on your eyes like the glue ones the glue ones you feel on your eyes so good luck with the giveaway i will be drawing a winner at random next week so stay tuned next week for the winner and a please leave a comment in the comment section as a way for me to find you. Good luck and on with the video. Beauty Guru, Many MUA and Laura Lee have a new podcast called Full Coverage, full as in F-O-O-L, where they delve into the drama every week, even though in the past, both have come out and stated that they despise drama channels because some years ago both were cancelled and it was a mess. They were cancelled because back in the day they were all a group of beauty guru friends and they all went away on a vacation together. Gabriel Zamora posted a picture of them all flipping someone off. As it turns out, they flipped off Jeffree Star, who was mega popular at the time. Laura Lee and many MUA suffered the worst cancellations ever, whereas Gabriel Zamora and Nikita Drag Dragon weren't much affected by the scandal. So last week, on their full coverage podcast, many MUA sneakily mentioned to Laura Lee that she had mentioned collabs a week ago and he just out of the blue remembered one story which was a bit of a mess. He said that he wasn't going to mention the company but he did say that he did have a successful makeup collab with that company. And then they asked him to do a second collab because the beauty guru who was meant to do that collab had dropped out. However, some of the eyeshadows had already been picked and purchased by the company. Many asked Laura if she knew whom he was talking about and she said that she had no idea but kept referring to the owner as she. Surely she knew exactly whom Many was talking about and they wanted to spice up their podcast because many just had a launch of eyeshadows and Laura Lee is shortly launching a new product. Both have been around long enough to know that drama sells makeup and other successful launches like clothing, for example, which Laura Lee is a part of. One of her businesses is a clothing business. So many continued by saying that he was approached and was told the truth about the other beauty guru pulling out because many had so much fun on his first collab with the company he gladly agreed to help them out and besides he was getting paid well for the collab he then found out 
that after he agreed to do the, that collab, it was offered to another beauty creator whom he wasn't on speaking terms at the time. My guess would be that the offer went to Patrick Starr, as many and Patrick did have a falling out, but they are cordial to each other at the moment. Many said that a third party told him about the company offering the other creator that same collab which many had already taken on. He said that when he heard this news, he was furious and called the owner asking for an explanation. The owner apparently told him that he was friends with problematic beauty influencers and it wouldn't be in the best interest of the company to have him do that collab. Back in the day, Manny was collabing a lot with Jeffree Star, who was always problematic. However, Manny was saying that his friendship with Jeffree Star didn't stop the owner from inviting him to do the initial collab. Because Manny's timestamp was inaccurate, I was under the impression that it could have been Morphe or Beauty Geek. Marlene Stell tweeted out at many saying that he was absolutely wonderful to work with after that podcast came out and everyone stopped guessing by then it was clear that it was Makeup Geek who many was talking about and Marlene Stell being the owner of Makeup Geek. The comment section was buzzing and many viewers did guess that it was Makeup Geek. Although many had has received a lot of Teddy Fresh merch from Ila and Ethan Klein from H3H3 podcast, which he has been wearing a lot as of late, he recently went on Instagram parading for his millions of followers James Charles' latest merch with the caption underneath stating my king. Although James Charles seems to get away with a lot by now, it is a well-known fact that James Charles is a groomer and he has a bad reputation in the YouTube community. However, Manny MUA is a close friend of James Charles. Only this week, Manny was saying on the podcast, uh, full coverage, how disappointed he was in Harry Jawsey, who is a reality TV star on Netflix and whose makeup many recently did. He glammed him and recorded that on his channel. Many said that he and Harry got along really well during the filming and the glamming. Harry is a straight man and many heard that Harry had called James Charles the F word, which he felt was totally inappropriate in today's day and age. Both Manny and James are gay men. So then many explained how hurtful it feels to the gay community when straight people use the F word to describe the gay community. Harry posted a TikTok just the other day together with many and they both seemed on good terms. It is difficult to understand why many keeps supporting James Charles, who is known for going after straight young men. It is as if many is turning a blind eye to James' inappropriate conduct. For years and years, James Charles has been called out, but more so as of late because some influencers are supporting his merch. When many appeared on Instagram wearing James' merch, Marlene Stell from Makeup Geek tweeted out at him the word disappointed. Even just this week, Ethan Klein has called out James Charles and anyone who still works with him. Ethan point blank came out and asked, don't people care that James has been preying on kids on, on Snapchat? Ella Klein responded by saying that people don't want to believe it. Ethan said, but why would anyone take that chance? James has been called out 
tweeting teens and straight youth too, so there is really no denying the truth any longer. Anyone who is denying the truth is really burying their head in the sand because there's been so many tweets from James Charles that have been revealed. So, you know, believe it or not, it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, comment below in the section what you think about all the latest drama between the beauty gurus. And don't forget to visit my other channel called Spiritual Destiny. And please subscribe to it, of course. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway, which Addicta Lash have been kind enough to give to me, uh, to give away to you. Thank you very much for watching. Cosmic kisses. Till next time. Bye for now.